This is our test rig at Coal Street. Um, we have it on a um, suspended, due, mainly due for the railway tracks that are just outside. But here's this here, we've got a um, point, point 0.5 bucket, uh, OTA. It's out uh, of calibration. First we set it up here on the thing, we level it, making sure that it, it's the, um, the bubble is right in the middle, as accurate as possible. Then uh, it is run through here, and the um, through a solenoid which is turned on by the computer and runs through at 12 millimeters an hour which is what we calibrated at. Each bay here that we've got here on the calibrating rig is represented on the screen here bay 1 to 4 so this is uh, one that's running now we've got uh, a 0.5 on here the tipping bucket and it's uh, we load the information on here we zero it on the uh, load cells with the buckets of water which is empty and we um, just load in the number of runs we want which is four after that it's um, calibrated through here and, and weigh, drops down into the bucket on our load cells which is weighed back to the computer here where it's taking the uh, it's a waiting time for the, the water to stabilize and we just wait for that Time to pass and then it'll all go back. So now it should uh, go back to taking the measurement. After each uh, series of four runs, if it, each bucket needs uh, altering, we um, undo these, rotate it maybe two or three flats, do it back up, and put it through another run of four. We do that till we get a constant, um, even bucket that's in the correct weight. But it, uh, it's a very fine adjustment and it's definitely not recommended to be done in the field when it's because each, each one is weighed and balanced. We use the uh, drip rate of 12 millimetres an hour because that is the standard rate of rainfall all over New Zealand. So that's, uh, there's only a couple of places that it's higher. So we, this is what we have done for a couple of decades now. So that's why we use 12 millimetres an hour. Put it through a, a number of runs of 40, 40 runs that come down here and we might weigh each each tip and they add, it's added up on a load cell which is then um, gener um, generated into a, a report here which gives us our, our reading so for me to say that it's a correct a correct um, calibration we're looking for even buckets each side so this is the left and right so here is like for a 0.5, we're looking for uh, 157, which on each side of each bucket, which gives us uh, a 0.5 bucket. And as you can see here, we've got one side's good, but the other side needs altering. So that'll be raised up. And wait until we get three consecutive runs of 157 on each side with both buckets, right and left. For a, a run, we empty our, we have our buckets that are emptied out, and then they put on the load cells, and where it zeroes itself, and we have a, we do check it. Once it's zeroed, then we add, when we start the program up, so each bucket goes into the load cells and is added up on both sides, one right and left side, till we get to our um, four runs. So once the instruments are calibrated here, they're all calibrated within 1% and that's when they uh, are sent out to the field. This here is a calibration report that you receive with each um, bucket, um, each tipping bucket, rain gauge. And this is just showing here the results on the left and the right bucket of uh, the calibration. And our, our uh, what we aim for too is to get it within 1% and this one here you can see it's 0 0.32 so that's a that's a pass for us with, with the OTA we've got it that it just it um, as the rainfall comes down it'll just drip straight into the um, buckets until it's full straight over and um, so if you get a great deluge, you get a lot of water coming through. Whereas with the TB3, you've got, um, it, 
rainfall falls into it and goes into a small siphon which is up here and it only releases a certain amount each time so it does if you get a great deluge of water it, all it can do is maybe overflow but it will not take any more here we got tb3 with a field calibrator on here and what it just this is what most people do out in the field is um, run it through maybe three times to get a check what we want to just stress to you that it is only a check so that what you, if you put it in and in a year's time or a year after a year you calibrate it and you put it come back and do it again and it, there is no change we're saying that it's the instrument still good if you've noticed change that's when we need to see um, we need to bring it back and calibrate it but this is just a check to see that the instrument is doing the same as it did before and uh, so what we say is that you should bring it back every four years to so that we can service it clean the bearings and uh, recalibrate it so that there is um, a keep a good standard so we're looking at we've got two different uh, we've got, um, rain gauges here tipping bucket TB3 and the OTA tipping bucket now point fives both of them but uh, the difference with these ones it has the siphon which needs to be kept really clean so you get a good good results this is the, the nozzle which um, can be just pulled out or screwed out this here can be removed by using a the correct spanner and don't drop the sc screw and uh, just undoing it as making sure this is clean place it back do it up hand tight place it back so that's um, that's how it fits just a point of mention to when we are when you are using the field calibrator that you have the small filter in and the top filter in when you're doing your checks it's uh, it's important because it, it, it helps um, control the flow of the calibrator and and um, which will give you a better result. Okay, now we want to test the resistance of the reed switch, the ohms. So if we remove this cover, it exposes the reed switch in here, which is where the wiping contacts and the magnet pulls it together and connects the circuit. So if we put our meter now on ohms, and Hold our terminals, connect across the terminals, and when the bucket moves between, if we hold it as it contacts, you'll see we'll get a reading of 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Again, here it close, wait for the reading 0 0.1, which is what they should leave the lab at. Um, Less than one is what they're aiming for. In the field, five or less we're happy with. Again, hold it there. Point one. You can also check the continuity. Let's go across here and connect the circuit as it swipes. We can hear it beeping. So the circuit's working fine. Thank you.